10th, day 82 or 83 of my keto journey. And yeah, I have some not so good news for you guys today. I'll let you know right when I get back. So, yes, um, <laughs> I've been bad today, very bad. I've went, uh, I fell completely off today, but it was kind of like a planned fall off. I've been at the stall, and I've really been trying to do my best with this keto thing. Um, you know, I've recently decided to start tracking total carbs because the net carbs just wasn't really doing it for me. Uh, but today, me and John decided, you know what? You know, he's been doing good with his eating. He's not strict keto, but he's been doing low carb. We've been dealing with a lot. We've been working our butts off. And we decided to just have a day where we treat ourselves and just have some food that we that is non, not keto. Now, um, we were out all day ripping and running streets, delivering groceries. Had to get uh, two new tires on the back of my car. Just a lot of um, running around and we got hungry so we decided to just have this one day to fall back and just kind of um, treat ourselves and enjoy ourselves food wise today and so yeah we did and boy we did we were gonna go to Carl's Jr's which is Hardee's as well that's one of our favorite spots and here in New Jersey there's literally literally only one in North Bergen and um, we had planned to go there and they're closed down for now I, I hope it's temporarily but they're closed down, so we drove all that way for nothing. Online, it says they're open, but they're closed down. So we ended up going to Burger King, and we just wanted a good burger. We could have went, you know, to, like, Red Robin or something, but we just wanted something quick to just take it to the house. So I got um, a Whopper. I got jalapeno um cheese bites cheddar bites and, and um fries and i also got a small spicy chicken sandwich yeah i we went ham we went ham and uh after i ate, I ate most of that i had a whopper left over we went back to the house we had like about a two hours to kill so i ended up taking a nap and when i woke up I felt like I had been hit by a train. Energy was totally gone. I felt like I weighed 600 pounds. I just, I was drained. It was terrible. And I had quickly forget that I cheated that quick. I was like, why do I feel like there's something's wrong? I'm like, oh, carbs. We decided for dinner, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, steak dinner from Burnett Barbecue. And this, after this, that's it. We're back on our keto train. John's going to be doing stricter keto with me. And uh, we're going to just get back on track with it. And we're going to go ahead and close this night like this. And tomorrow you'll be back on track for hopefully another 80 something days before another day like this and I'm going to show you a little footage here of the city so you, could, you guys can see how amazing the clouds and stuff look it's really pretty all right guys oh snap there it is look at them clouds Yeah. All right, guys, so we've made it back home. 
the day is over. We've had our off-plan meals for the day. I had a cheat day today. And it's over now. Back on keto, back on track. As of right now, I'm fasting. Probably will not have my meal until tomorrow around 12 or 1 o'clock. And I'm going to be implementing the 16-8 intermittent fasting again like I was at the beginning. But now tracking total carbs. <sighs> so should be getting some better results. And we'll see if this cheat day helps with the um, helps uh, spark a um, or stops the stall I've been in for a couple, few weeks. So we shall see about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, ring the bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. I hope you all have a great night. Stay safe. Wear your mask, wear your gloves. All right, guys, until tomorrow.